warned her attacker would rape again, and police say he did, this time a child. ABC 6's Lisa Rontala joined us live with why he was out and where police say he was lurking. Lisa? Court Justice sits behind bars tonight after he refused to face a judge for two days straight. Deputies tell me he refused to come into the courtroom today because he knew our cameras were rolling. And this is after police say he did something very public last month when raping a 15 year old girl. Before police say Corey Justice grabbed a 15 year old girl at the Franklin Park Conservatory and forced her to perform sex acts on him. At first, you know, I didn't want to report it, you know, because I was scared. Misha Edmondson said Justice raped her two years ago. They like stripped me of my clothes and pushed me and pushed me on the bed and one guy like held my arms. Misha said she was helping a friend move into the freelance photographer's apartment. She said they were drinking. She refused to pose for him and was attacked. Rape, it shouldn't happen. Like you, a woman shouldn't have to go through rape. Police arrested Justice then and took his DNA. After that, he exposed himself to an 11-year-old girl at the corner of Livingston and Miller. He was out on probation at the time of the conservatory attack last month. He was going to get out. He was going to do it again. Mesha worried this would happen, especially after what she saw on Justice's Facebook page. They were like, it had to be like 12, 13 years old. They were like nude, like had on like their underwear or their bras, like posing. But because of her case, Justice's DNA was still on file and police say they were able to match it up with the most recent attack. It makes me, I feel like a lifesaver because without, you know, my case, then, you know, she would never be able to explain, you know, what happened to her. So I feel like I was a big, you know, break in her case. In Misha's case, a grand jury did indict justice on three counts of rape, one count of kidnapping, but due to a plea deal, those rape counts didn't stick. Reporting live from downtown, Lisa Rontala, ABC 6 News.